take. This is clockwise, this is counterclockwise into a tight shoe. It's pretty tricky. But coming into this, where do I want to be to get out of it? Well, I'm going to want to be somewhere down here. Not super critical because I have this real estate in order to make whatever setup adjustments I need for this. But for me, I'm going to want to put myself down here. Well, so that dictates for me that I'm going to take this on the entry kind of tighter to push me down here on the exit. Rather than saying way up here on the first one um, to put me down here. Can I be down here? Okay, yeah, I could. But, <clears throat> but I want to be down here to drop into that section. And that means I want to be down here. So if I'm going to be down here, I'll just hug this tight on the first one to push me down to this portion of the real estate. I'm not going to use any of this. So remember where you're going. It'll dictate where you set up, how you set up, and where on the pattern you're using the real estate. This is um, guiding you in the wrong way. A lot of people are going to look at this and say, wow, maybe I need to use this because it's here. Well, no, you don't need to use it because it's there. Let everyone else use it and waste their time screwing around in it while you stay down here and go fast and set up for the next section better. So now I come out here, I'm going to go counterclockwise. And remember, this is a pretty sneaky little shoot to come out of. But where do I want to put myself to come out? Same thing here. Uh, I'm going to want to be somewhere. Let's just work backwards. I'm going to want to be somewhere down here to get out of this. So what does that mean? My bike needs to finish down here. So same thing. I'm going to hug pretty tight on my first one. And this down here will be my real estate. I'm not using any of this. None of this at all. Pointless, useless, waste of time. I'm not using any of this, but I'm going to hug this tight on the first drop in because I need to be down here so that when I complete my circle, I'm in this portion of the cone pattern. Why? Because I need to road race out of that in that nice arc. <clears throat> now that I'm in here, we're going to be dropping on another pattern. Well, what do we have here? Let's see. We're going to be making a nice long left. Well, let's take a look at what that looks like. That looks like this. So if I come through here, this is a nice long U-turn into this section, right? So remember, we're linking these sections up. Uh, easy to remember, nice and smooth and simple, unsettles the chassis the least. We're using as much real estate as we, as we need. And we knew that we were gonna make a long sweeping left, so we made sure that we dropped down here so that we could get the bike down here so that we could set up nice to push everything over to the right for this long sweeping left, okay? So remember, we're deconstructing these things and working backwards. This is pretty straightforward and easy. We're just gonna come in through here, we're gonna make a circle, and we're gonna shoot back out. Super easy to do. So for me, I stay up here. I'm gonna stay up here, why? Because I'm not having to change direction any. This is a circle. I'm leaned over, I'm gonna use as little real estate as possible to come back out. I'm not using any of this at all. I'm gonna do this as tight as possible. And all this, from this point here to right here, when I come out here, this is all one lean. So think about this whole section of a pattern. How simple is that? I've gone into this pattern, one turning movement, two turning movements, two turning movements, and I'm already here, I'm almost done. And I'm just out, and I'm three, done finished, finito, easy, nice and simple. Three turning movements for this entire pattern. And you're coming in with momentum, coming in at a nice lean angle. As far as where you set up the bike, pretty simple. For me, <clears throat> after I make this left, this swinging left, I'm gonna push the bike, most likely I'll push the bike out here a little bit, and I'll turn this as soon as I can. Um, you can, can you do it here? Yes, can you do it here? Sure, it really doesn't matter. Anywhere in here, Anywhere in here is where I'm going to be uh, doing my turning movement, anywhere in this spot here. But I'm not wasting all this space. I'm not gonna utilize all this real estate. Why? Because I don't need it. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna push the bike out here. So here, think about this. This, from this spot all the way to here is how much room I have. Although if you looked at the pattern at first glance, you'd think it was from here, but it's not. It's from here. So that's a lot more real estate if you do it right, okay? Uh, and that's it.